Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back for yet another Halloween inspired video. Today is going to be something that's a little bit kind of quick and easy, but on my stream last week, I got a question about how to create like really simple cuts um, using liquid latex. So I thought, why not just do a video on that? So yeah. I don't really have a big intro for this one, but I will say supplies that you will need liquid latex, okay? Cotton balls, then your like foundation color, and if you want to make them extra spooky, uh, some sort of fake blood. I have Mayron stage blood right here, but I know like Halloween stores have really simple fake blood, like party stores. So I would just use a fake blood of any kind and then some Q-tips. So that's all you're gonna need. And let's just get right into it. Okay, so what you're gonna do is I like to just get a little bit on my finger and I like to put liquid latex down wherever I'm gonna be doing the cut so that the cotton immediately sticks to it, okay? So we're gonna do a cut right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna put the liquid latex right here, okay? We're just gonna do a big cut along the side of my face. Then, before it dries, get a chunk of your cotton and I like to kind of make it thin and like in the shape that I want the, the cut to be. And what you're going to do is you're just going to lay that down so it starts to stick, okay? Then what I like to do is I like to basically make the cut, like soak the cut in the liquid latex, okay? I just usually take my finger, that's just the easiest way. I find. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to just start wetting the cotton with the latex. It's a little bit of a process, but it allows you to be able to work with it um, and kind of mold it to what you need it to do. So I kind of just take like literally a glob, okay, and just really get that uh, coated. Liquid latex dries really, really, really fast. So why I like to kind of soak the cotton in latex is it gives me a little bit of time to kind of get it to how I want it to look before it dries. Okay, so you have your soaked cotton. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start pushing the edges so that you have a smooth edge. It's a little less aggressive and what I like to do is now I like to start working on whatever the cut is so I take more latex on my finger I don't want my finger to be dry okay because if it is it's gonna start pulling at the latex so make sure you always are working with like wet latex okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start kind of like digging in <laughs> to the cotton and just creating that divot in my face, okay? You see how you can like see my skin now? Okay, and I can feel my fingers getting dry. So again, go in with more latex and just start smoothing it out and I'm just creating the cut, okay? And again, making, the, making sure the edges are smooth. Okay, so now you're just gonna go ahead and let that dry. My microphone was muted the entire time. <laughs> so I just I just talked for the last like two minutes with uh, my microphone muted. All that you missed was that I just put foundation on this, okay? I just put my foundation, uh, I took my brush and I was talking about the fact that I like to kind of like dab first instead of really buff it in um, because that will not disrupt the latex and cotton. So yeah, I just like to dab. And I was also talking about the fact that this is not meant to be the most realistic cut ever. This is just a way for people who don't have a lot of experience or just have, you know, like a party store or a spirit Halloween near you. And this is all that you can get is like a little liquid latex, okay? So we're just using what we have and just going over the basics. This is optional. Um, I'm going to take a face powder and I'm going to set just so it's not shiny and it also kind of will help match your skin tone a little bit better. You see how this matches more than this down here? Um, just so it looks a little bit better. 
and it'll help take away the shininess of the latex when it dries. I'm going to brush that away, okay? So we have our, we have our uh, generic cut, okay? Next, you're gonna wanna take your fake blood and take a Q-tip, and again, I'm just using Mayron stage blood and just kind of really get that in there. The reason why I'm using a Q-tip instead of just going in with it is you just have more control. So I'm going to just start placing it where the cut is, okay? And obviously the cut is gonna be quite uh, fresh and thick. So that's why I want the blood to be quite thick. And then you can also start taking it and like working it around so that it's not just like a blob and then you're cut. You can start adding texture with the Q-tip and that's another reason why I wanted to use a Q-tip is you can start adding texture around the cut itself, okay? Work with what you have, you know, this is this is the whole point of this is like to create something fun and cool for Halloween just using what you have. And you can also take a little bit of the blood on the Q-tip. This is really great now. You can take the blood on the Q-tip and just start like, you know, working it or even further away from the cut. So it looks like it's like splattered onto your face. Think about if you cut yourself super aggressively on your cheek, it wouldn't just be like blood right here. It would be kind of everywhere, you know? Have fun with it. I think the good thing about fake blood is, you know, you really can't use too, you can't use too much. <laughs> um, I also have a too much gene. So I, <laughs> sometimes I feel like I use too much, but I get really into it and then I'm like, well, blood can go like here. So use less blood if you want to, but I tend to use more. So we're just gonna kind of put that everywhere. And I'm going to take just a little bit more and really gunk it up, okay? This is where you can get like thick with it. I got the generic placement of it, so I'm taking a good amount and just Filling that puppy in. That, that way it has some, like, you see how there's, like, girth to the blood? <laughs> and it's not just, like, a really thin layer of red. There, it's, it's dripping. This is exactly what we want. Okay, and that's literally the easiest tutorial of a cut ever. But this is just something super quick and easy that you can do for Halloween. Again, if you have a party to go to or something for like work or a haunted house or whatever you're doing, if you just need to know the literal basics of how to create a cut, here you go. It, my face, look, I got cut by something. Mr. Ghost's face chased me and cut me on my cheek. You know, like this is, it's just casual, but it's it does the job. This is something that you can literally make with three things. Latex, cotton, fake blood. Foundation if you want it to look a little bit more natural. But it's something that you can just go grab quickly at the store and do in like three minutes and you're good to go. Go party and be spooky. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, if you liked my cut, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any other Halloween questions that I can answer before the end of the month. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!